One of the biggest questions I get on the podcast interviews that I do and the radio interviews is the host really gives me that confused look, especially if they're not in the creative financing, and says, I, Chris, I truly don't get it. Like, why would a seller sell you their house? I'm, in particular, I'm honing in on owner financing. Why would a seller sell you their house, owner financing, when they could sell it outright? And more so, why would they sell accepting from you principal only payments? In other words, no interest, zero. So in other words, if I'm making monthly payments of $900, it's 100% principal pay down. Why would a seller do that? Now, a little, little context. 99% of our owner financing deals, uh, let me be safe and say 97 or 98. Most of our deals are done with free and clear sellers. By the way, about a third of the homes in the United States are free and clear. Um, it varies, but about a third. Um, most of our sellers are that, and most of our sellers want to accomplish something that the conventional market won't give them, which is a little bit of tax planning. In other words, they don't want to get whacked and have an outright sale right now. Um, sometimes premium on price. Why would they get a premium on price? I'd give them a premium on a price all day long if they extend the term a year or two or three or five. Because remember, as they extend the term and I pay monthly, I'm paying down principal. So let me give you an example. If I bought a house for 200000 and I was paying $1,000 a month principal payments and it was going to be a four-year term, would I have any problem saying to the owner, I'll give you 203,000. I'll give you 3,000 over your asking if you give me a 60 month term instead of a 48. I wouldn't care because that extra 3,000 takes me three months to eat up and then nine months later, I got uh, nine months later, I got nine more months of $1,000 principal pay down. I got nine grand extra by extending it a year. Now, why else would they do it? The state planning. Um, so uh, the building I'm sitting in right now talking to you was bought on owner financing from a free and clear seller. I'm gonna throw this one in the mix because it's a little bit different. It's kind of a hybrid deal. He is a very conventional, because people say to me, why would a seller do it? Maybe they don't understand. No, this guy was a very conventional real estate investor, one of the larger landowners on the island. I live on an island of three towns. And he advertised owner financing on a very busy road. No realtor called him, no one gave him this offer that he wanted of 550,000. I called him, came and sat with him in the, this building, in the very office that's my office now, and said, we do principal only pay down, are you open to that? He said, principal only? I only do interest, I want five point, I think it was five and a half or 5.3. He had it in his head what he wanted, and he knew what he wanted down payment. I said, we usually don't do any down, but I can get you to your number, your price, I can even pay a little bit more, and we do principal only. So now here comes into the equation what I call the quadrant. This is important. The quadrant is, when we're talking to a seller, you can't expect to get all the variables. I'll tell you what they are in the quadrant. And you can't expect them to, and they can't expect them to. So I sat across his desk, again, in my present office, and I said, all right, Alan, uh, well, I like to say that there's a quadrant, and we have price we're work working with, number one, in the quadrant. We have, in his case, down payment. I don't bring it up unless they do. We have monthly payment, and we have interest in his case, right? We also have term, of course. So there's a little bit more, there's five in this because he brought up down payment, usually that doesn't come up. So what we did is this. He won on price or he got his way on price. I paid 550. Um, we both sort of won and split on a 20 year term. And because we were at a stalemate with interest or principal only, we did both. I said, I will give you a little down. We usually don't, but because this is an office building and I'm gonna be here, I'll give you a little down. But I want 18 months, I think is what we came to, of principal only pay down on the payment. So it was like $3,000, whatever it was. Principal only. At the end of that time period, 18 or so months, whatever we did, we'll take that balance and we'll amortize it and I came up with 5.2%. And the way I come up with that was, I was paying rent across town of almost the, almost the same amount, 20 something hundred. I didn't wanna mentally go over 3,000. I didn't want a three in front of the number. So what was left on, I backed it out, was 5.2% will give me a payment of $2,930 something dollars, whatever that comes to. He said, okay. We both walked away from a handshake. I didn't go to a bank. I didn't go through underwriting. I didn't have to put 30% down or whatever a bank would require for a commercial building these days. And our attorneys were right in town and in about 30 days this deal was closed, rehabbed, and we moved in. That would have taken 90 days minimum and all kinds of bank fees and all kinds of stress and crap to close it. 
Allen did it because of estate and tax planning and price. So when you think about terms deals, don't for one second think that in your marketplace, there's not a plethora of sellers who would talk to you and be open to owner financing, lease purchase, and sub two. That's how we get all our deals done. And there are not enough hours in the day or students in our entire database that I could plant in your town and get all the deals that are there. They're all there for you. To learn more about this and to kind of hang out and hear these types of questions, because we do this every week, it's free for you. It's one of the things we do so that you do deals, and not just go through a course and say, what do I do next? It's called the Wicked Smart Sit Down. Every Thursday at four o'clock on Zoom, we hope that you come with camera on with questions. If you don't, you wanna camp out your first time and just listen, that's fine too. You'll get a feel for what we're all about at the Wicked Smart family and the Wicked Smart community. Just go to smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash events. Hope to see you there this Thursday.